There's consternation in Kiev that closer ties with the EU have been dealt a blow by Dutch voters, but for those in the know in Ukraine, dismay is mixed with hope that this is not the end of the story. This is one of the biggest disappointments, perhaps the biggest disappointment in recent years, says this political analyst. But he adds that the Netherlands and Ukraine will now seek a way of preserving the partnership deal, while while at the same time making it clear that the European Union is still listening to the views of ordinary people. I'm very sad, this woman told Euronews in the Ukrainian capital, because politics has got in the way of our country's destiny. Perhaps my future, my family and my country will be at risk because of this. But on a visit to Japan, Ukraine's president seemed far from discouraged, downplaying the importance of the referendum. Under any circumstances, we continue to implement the association agreement with the European Union, including deep and comprehensive free trade agreement, and Ukraine will continue our movement to the European Union. And for Petro Poroshenko, the Dutch no vote is above all aimed at the EU, with those behind the referendum not taking a shot at the Ukraine treaty, but the unity of Europe.